the second group of lords was approaching, would they be... dealt with in a similar way, or did they require a different approach to the first group of lords? For some reason, another sawmill was constructed to the west, and to the southwest, another coal thumper, and a couple of gathering posts was constructed. Perhaps he knew something that the others did not. And he made some preparations in advance for... ...in case another group of lords arrived. As by this point it was uncertain whether there would be more than two. Oh yes, and as for the space left at the west, that was reserved for the infirmary when the research regarding it was complete. Oh, that and when there was steam cores to make its construction possible. I struggle to remember whether... Oh, and one of the scout parties reached the radio mast. And it just confirmed what the people already knew. That the rich were... All too willing to let... Those under them die. And once the infirmary research was complete... Strangely, research in the factory was started. Hmm. Although, what was not strange was a couple of infirmaries were ordered to be constructed. Well, there were some gravely ill that needed treatment, and with them, that treatment would be possible. These lords, did they even question why those under them were resentful? Where they not only 
left those who could ill afford even basic necessities, never mind of where it's <coughs> a way of escaping London. <sighs> but the most senior of them all tried to kill them. just goes to show that what was built in these frozen wastes needs to be better than what came before. Mistakes of the past. Are best avoided. And with the homes heated well enough. It was time to improve as many homes as there was wooden steel to improve them with. Oh yes. second group of lords was nearing. And a factory could be built. Now what did she want research next? that she needed to scale back on improving the homes. Now she considered improving the coal production facilities. Although she considered infirmary mechanization to be a higher priority, because it would mean fewer engineers would be needed. In those Then she decided that some space in the north was needed. It's unclear what it'd be needed for, but with a scout party returning with some food, and other supplies such as steel, coal, wood, and steam cores. It would be a good place for a factory.
and it would also be a good time to improve the housing. More so than it could have been without those supplies. And as for the Lords, it turned out that they were sick. Which required additional medical facilities. Well, thankfully, there were two infirmaries. A large group of lords had arrived. Most of them were seriously ill. They would not be able to work for many days and would overcrowd their medical facilities. She decided to expand them. Well, she could have promised to cure all of them in two days. Although, she obviously considered expanding the current medical facilities at this time to be easier to achieve. Well, I could understand, and she could as well, why the rest kept their distance from the sick lords. As for the snowy hill, that revealed some locations, such as an rock slide that revealed something else. The other scout party was heading towards an abandoned sword. The infirmary was more expensive, needed additional steam cores.
Let's heal it. Those will thin them quicker. And can also heal the gravely ill. Of which there was none now. Well, not at this point, anyway. She understood enough to know that sickness would have no preferences. As it would infect the rich just as easily as the poor before the frost. There'd be nothing to stop them from being infected by the same disease. Most of those that had arrived were in varying medical facilities, but even with the medical facilities being constructed in the north, it would not be enough, at least not for the <coughs> immediate enough. In an abandoned outpost, steam cores and steel were found. It was indeed buried fortune. An iron bank which looked like a vault was the next destination for that scout party. There was not many places that the scout party had not Through the night, medical posts were being constructed, and with each one operational, more people were being treated, and there were dangerous rumours that the lords that arrived would spread disease. She ignored them. taking direct action then would more likely reinforce them than dispel them. Thank you. 
the second group of lords was sick, and the medical facilities were overwhelmed. She hopes that they had arrived in time. She also hoped that they had gained some humility from this. With additional medical facilities, the people were hopeful. Hopeful that this sickness would be contained and dealt with. And at this point, one more group of strangers was spotted in the distance. And the Iron Bank was a vault of riches, including records and examples of advances. She decided against plundering this and <sighs> ordered it left alone, as it was more useful than tax. Destroyed. The northern medical facilities were understaffed. That would need to be dealt with. Thankfully, with mechanization on the horizon, that problem would be solved. In the past, that was considered quite the horror tale. Oh yes. And with less needed for the infirmaries, they were reallocated to the medical posts. And a few were allocated to the factory. Where it was tested out with a... <sighs> Sorry. With the construction of a prosthetic. Well. Needed to test it out in some way. Oh yes, and the rest of the houses were improved. And then, it was decided that it would wait, because the resources were needed for other things. Such as reach them. <sighs> yeah, sorry. Such as a more refined coal mining. 
because Cole was desperately needed. And then there was something to take notice of. One of the hunter's huts needed improvements into a hunter's hangar. Well, well, two of them, yes. Perhaps that was make up for the food deficits. Well, she certainly hoped it would. Although something else would be needed for that. Considering that a third group of lords was approaching, and there was also need to be more shelter. And the west was the only place where there was space with any significance left to build. Well, there was also trees, but... If a place to live was a higher priority, that would be what would be done. But at least the hunters' huts were all being upgraded by this point. Where it would be suicidal for a regime to not make sure that their people were being fed. as about food. That provokes people into being rough. And with the coal mines having a better Well, more efficient means of gathering coal, the industrial hothouse was next. Three of them would provide more than enough food. And sadly, even though the Coal mining was slightly more efficient. That was still not enough. The hunters were flying. As it was the night shift. It would be more than a day before this third group of lords would arrive, so there was still time to 
Yes, there's still time to prepare. There's still time to heal the sick. Especially as there is no certainty regarding whether or not the Those in this third group would need those medical facilities more. Well, they would find out eventually. And in the night, something disgusting happened. One of the lords was crippled by a rather cowardly attack. Yes, I understand that there were some within Sanctuary that were resentful, but... That was still no reason to attack someone who is at a reduced ability to fight back. Thankfully, there was a prosthetic. That crippled lord would certainly need it. Thankfully, it was built. Before the next work shift, both scout parties would reach their destinations. And there was barely not enough coal to sustain the current heat setting. As for the coal mine, coal was abundant there. Only what they could find was taken and the red flag camp would be next. Well, they could build an outpost some point in the future. 
As for the other scout party in the abandoned sawmill, they found an abandoned outpost and wood. A rock formation was travelled to next. Yes, there would still be some supplies to deliver to Sanctuary. But would they arrive before this third group of lords arrived? Well... We'll get to that eventually. In fact, we'll get to that quite soon considering how close the Lords were by this point. The medical situation within the Sanctuary was under control, but for how long? And who was within the group of Lords approaching Sanctuary? Well, both of those questions would be answered, but I need a break from this. I'll be back soon.